and welcome back to Coffee and Chaos. I'm Alina, your host, Steph. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, Tony, Ooh, Trina. I been here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon, our lovely producer. Hello. How is everyone feeling? Why is he acting so serious? Hello, how are you today? Because it's a serious <laughs> topic. No, yeah, I saw the topic ahead of time. It's yeah. a serious one. I was, like, I was like, Tony, me? you should have just took the day off. I yeah. called in sick on this one. I was wondering why he did that. I'm ready. <laughs> I was. I wanted a guy. I think you and I said maybe, Trina, that we should have a guy. Or no, mm, maybe you said, me. Steph. But if I had Tom, I wanted all guys on this one. I felt like Tom would have been like, rah. Like he wouldn't have let us. Now like, been like, Meow. I think it would have been hilarious <laughs> to have a bunch of guys on this one. Yeah, but then you it would get out of control. You wouldn't be able to like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so with that being said, we are gonna talk about. Wait, real quick, Tom, you are here in spirit. Okay, you are here. You in are here spirit. in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> He's always here. Um, crazy woman antics, meaning. The funny, like the good, mm -hmm. fun, crazy things that just women do for the most part. Mm -hmm. So we'll ask, we'll go around. But I ask guys at work, so I have a list of things that I actually thought were like, oh, my God, they're not lying. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon, I read off the list and Solomon was like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> All yeah. those check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if, if they're not crazy in like a bad way. They're just more funny or things, I guess. Things that get on They're guys. funny to us. Yeah, they get on the guys' nerves. I think they're pretty hilarious because <laughs> I could relate to some of them and I was like, oh, oh yeah, that, oh, yeah, that happened <laughs> to me too. Like, <laughs> Been there. Yeah. Well, the very first one. Wait, before you go into that, I, I would just like to know a little bit. How'd you come up with this idea? Um, Were you Probably and I talking about it? I think we were talking about, yeah, we were talking about what your... Uh, mindset was as far as coming on and making it fun and uh, mm -hmm. a topic and then i had just mentioned something about like a dream or whatever yeah we were mm -hmm. talking about something and we couldn't stop laughing so yeah and yeah. we were telling the story <laughs> and i was like oh, and I, me talking to her about it made me sound crazy so like, <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh i gotta hear about this dream later on <laughs> i think it's one of her well since we'll just bring it up since you did it and it's funny because it, so basically, this wasn't her dream, but I've dreamt this, and this is one of the things. And the guys, all these questions are from guys. I mean, are guys that I took notes on. So when he said it, I was like, okay, I'm not the only crazy one. My daughter-in-law has done it, and my daughter's like, you guys are too connected. When women dream, Stephanie, you have mm -hmm. not done this, when women dream about their men cheating on them in their dream, mm -hmm. and wake up, and you believe it's real. I know <laughs> I've done that for a fact. Like, oh, so, so who's Betty? <laughs> Barbara, you mean oh, Barbara. Barbara, Barbara, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, I dream so vividly, like I've kissed Paul Walker. So don't even ask about that dream. <laughs> like it really happened. So when, <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> so when my everyone's man, had that dream, <laughs> except me. No kidding. <laughs> even him. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the dreams of us, you know finding our men cheating and it's so real that when we wake up it's not like it's just a dream and it goes away like it causes like Loran and Jackie that's crazy Jackie came over and was like she cheated on me and I was like what and Loran's like please don't get her started please do not get her started <laughs> so apparently for an hour after Loran woke up Jackie was like who is she just tell me just be real <laughs> oh my that's, God. that's happened to me where it was like <laughs> It, it like put a damper on the whole day and I'm like, I didn't even do anything. I'm like, I just opened my eyes and we're already starting. Like, come on. That's funny. <laughs> the guy that told me said that it went as far as getting punched in the middle of the night. Oh. And his wife was like, what the hell? And he's like, what's going on? Is she Latina? <laughs> no, she, she's not. I believe she's Croatian, which the Croatian people, women might as well be Latinas because they're just as feisty as us. Right, I right. Grew right. up with Croatians. They don't play no games. So, <laughs> She's just as spicy. So spicy. wait, when they have these dreams, is it a real woman that they both know or is it just some imaginary person? Because it would be worse, I imagine, if it was someone who's actually real. I, I, my, no, mine was, mine was a, an imaginary person. Like, yeah. No, mine was real. Mine was oh. an actual. No, he didn't cheat on me. No, oh, no, 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 no. Um, You're saying the person. It was, a, it's a, it was a real person, but this was a person that um, I've 
I've talked about it with Alina before. It was um, someone that he had worked with and they were, well, it was his partner. Yeah. Whatever. It was his partner. <laughs> I don't I'll put, like it, her. I'll put it out there. Oh, I'm gonna be real, okay? Work wife. It was his partner. Oh, his work yeah, wife. Yeah, it was his work wife. <laughs> no, we don't have work wife Solomon. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Yes, but you it do. Was, it was because during that season of my life, I was very insecure. That was okay. my own insecurities. Yeah, that was all so the things I was drumming up in my. You dreamt about it. Yeah, and I would. I woke Shame up on and you. like, oh my gosh, I had a bad dream, and he's like, it. It's just a dream. It's just <laughs> no. the devil is trying to, and I'm like, I need you to make it better. Like, wait, the devil. <laughs> Tell me it's not real. <laughs> the devil is alive. The devil is alive. I rebuke you in the name of Satan. But I would wake in the up. Name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my bad. In the name of Jesus. I'm coming way over here. Yeah. I would wake up with like just bad energy. Yes. But I'm like now thinking about it. I'm like, girl, you're in like, goodness gracious. Give it a. I'm not insecure, but I've had those dreams and I'm still like. I've never. It's had real. That. You did it. Tell me that. <laughs> It's real. You did it. <laughs> if you just tell me, we'll get through it. Yeah. <laughs> I forgive you already. Yeah. As you're holding the knife Let's behind work your through back. This. <laughs> what did you say? As Together. you're holding the knife behind your back. Yeah, yeah we'll get through exactly. it. Oh, my goodness. I'll get this through you. <laughs> <laughs> but I think as women, our minds like never stop. So when we're mm -hmm. sleeping, all this craziness is going on in there. <laughs> From the moment you guys wake in up, there? even throughout your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I no longer dream like that, though. No, you're yeah. good now. I still do, and I don't even got a math. <laughs> Poor dreams. Pablo. I know they're different. Pablo. <laughs> they're different dreams. She's on now. They're different dreams. <laughs> I still wake him up. Like I need you to make it right. <laughs> does, does he make it right? Make it make sense. Oh, does wow. he? <laughs> like you know, I just want to be held. Like just oh, hold me so I, I feel say, better what is... about whatever was going on in that dream. Yeah. <laughs> and does he? Yeah. Okay. But then it gets too hot and then I'm, you know, cause I'm then you're like, get yeah. off me. I'm fine now. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Move over. Yeah. Oh my God. She's like, okay, all's forgiven for now. <laughs> Until the next room. Okay. So do you guys want to go off the list or do you guys have anything? Let, let's go off the list. Okay. Go. Like, this is so great. this one is again, all me. I really feel like I'm crazy now that I think about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can't read a map. Can't follow directions Who and has maps zero anymore? sense of directions. That that's that also Valid. coincides with just having a bad co-pilot. Like, <laughs> but that's uh, she, she's in the car. You're like, okay, like I'm I'm concentrating on driving or whatever. Oh, don't don't tell me like last minute I'm like in the fast lane. Oh, we gotta get off of this. But lane. why does she? Yeah. Need, why do why do you need a like? My husband puts it, looks up in the map, you know, finds out where we're going, puts it on the navigation on the car. Why do you have to ask me if it's yeah. on there? Are you not? Are you a backseat driver? No, I don't do mm. that. Especially oh, or, or when oh, my so husband, you just go like this. No, I'm trusting you're the you're the leader. I talked about this in the other yeah. your other yeah. episode. You're the leader. I'm. We're, if we're going down, we're going down because of you. Yeah, <laughs> you're I'm not driving. <laughs> I, I, I don't do that. Oh shit, bar and Lorraine's like what? Oh my god, I just feel like we're gonna die right now. Like oh my. So I had to learn with her. Yeah, when she because she is fast and the furious, like in and out of lanes, like she gets oh, so like a semi uh, professional Ooh. race car driver. Yes, <laughs> but <How> am I? <laughs> can I tell you, I have to call her twice a week to this day. To this day, when I'm leaving a place that I've been driving to for Bubba, I jumped on the 405 and I was supposed to go on the 710, but the 605 was there and I didn't see it. Now I'm on the 605 going north. What do I do? <laughs> oh dear lord! Oh dear lord, mother! She's like, get off! And like, I have the worst. <laughs> I was yep. in South Dakota last year. You don't use your... I Trina? <laughs> don't judge her. <laughs> South Dakota, and the map was on. So Seth's in the passenger seat. And it says to make a slight left turn. <laughs> What's I, make can, like a, a I can only like, imagine what you did in a that full situation. full-on left turn. <laughs> Mind you, the only thing Seth and I have ever fought about during baseball trips is my driving. <laughs> that's the only thing and we've never so as i'm making my slight left turn as i hook it onto the freeway into oncoming traffic <gasps> and i was like oh there's a car Ow! everybody's going the wrong way but me <laughs> he's like ma'am and i was like oh well thank god it's south dakota and there was only like one or two cars and that must happen a lot because they just stopped like it's okay i had to reverse and <laughs> seth is like do you not listen what is wrong with you why do i let you drive and i was like 
Well, it said make a slide. Don't let that happen in LA. Not a U turn. <laughs> He's off. You made a shirt. Look. Even, even her instructions of what, how she oh did it. Oh my was God. A full on. So I don't know how, like, I don't know how I survived. I don't know how I get home daily. Like, I don't, like, and that's why she doesn't leave Pedro. She's on the, she's on the bridge. She's like, make a sharp left turn. <laughs> You're going to the water. And it doesn't matter if Siri says, you know, in 500 yards. Well, what is 500 yards? I have zero idea. So, like, it must be here now. And like, you're not going 500 yards? Keep going. And I was like, I don't know. Why are you yelling at me? And he's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, it so, dings when you're supposed to turn. I, she probably doesn't have my that. attention span to listen to her. Just Squirrel. <laughs> See, I know what. You should change it to a man's voice. <gasps> I should. You should. Maybe you you'll listen would. more. Yeah. You, uh, what's it? On ways you Pablo? can change it to yeah, a boy Pablo? band. Yeah, yeah because maybe, I don't like yeah. no woman telling me what to do. You need to change it to oh. a man's voice. We're doing that before before we get on the freeway tonight. Oh, God. I mean, I never got that. I never felt that, like, scared or, like, I didn't trust it. I don't. <laughs> Okay, I'm maybe she now. Isn't isn't that man's voice. <laughs> maybe it's because we're At talking. The corner. In. Wait, so do you have a good sense of direction? No, I didn't say that I did. <laughs> I'm just <Do> saying. No, <laughs> no, I was just saying that if I'm with my husband and he's already I, have, I, have it on, why do you need me? Because he said I, he would ask, right? Yeah. Her to be the co-pilot, but why does she need to be the co-pilot? You're driving. Well, were you talking before phones came out? Oh yeah. Before like, oh, okay. I don't have like a me. Good... I always have. I always. Map I, I, I don't have a on, good always... sense of direction when it comes to like north, you know, yeah, all that. Me neither. But, right. but the I, target on the corner. I yeah, can, that's, yeah, that's, I can get places with the mapping system, but yeah, don't ask me north, south, none of that. All right, I have a test for all of you guys. All right, oh, um, here we go. Uh, for, when I count north. to three, okay, point to the south. One, two, three. Yeah, no. South. I can't. South. I can't Wait. even tell you. South Why are you even south. asking me? I just no, got done telling you. I don't south know. Is oh, yeah. South is Sorry, Pedro. South. south is Huntington Beach. Yeah. North. Everyone oh, is pointing God. in different direction you guys, right now. Wait. Hold on. Am I right? South is south Huntington. South is Beach? right at that white wall behind you, Tony. Oh. That's how south. is that south, Tony? Oh, this wall. South. That's south. Okay. So that's yeah. I was pointing that way. The freeway's like right here, so you yeah. can technically go like this. Uh, uh, Anywho, and you know why I was right because. It's your show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because somebody who always Valid lived, point. somebody who lived in Huntington Beach, um, I would always somebody. Go, somebody. Yeah, Baby but Daddy? that's that's southeast though. I Huntington oh okay. Beach. So I would always say, Well, are you um do you want us to go up there? Because meaning we go he's like, down here, down here. Yeah. You're coming to me. And I was like, Okay, anyways, you want me to go up there? <laughs> so I always registered in my head that Huntington is South towards San Diego, towards yeah, four. You know what? It's funny. South. We were talking yeah. about this. Side I, I was talking to my mom about it. We were talking about how it was going to work in San Diego, and uh, she, I was like, "You know which way San Diego is?" She goes, "Yeah, up that way." <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's down that way. That's some She's shit like, I would. Yeah, know. it's just down that way. I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, so are we? Me. Are we backseat drivers then? Since because I know no, I'm, I'm a. I've tried really hard lately to not be one since both the kids are full-time drivers and now it's easier for me just to get in the car and shut my mouth than to i'm not back i hate backseat drivers i don't, I don't know maybe i am i don't know if i'm on my phone no <laughs> mike's watching this going yes she is passenger yes, she princess is. over here <laughs> princess. i'm a queen <laughs> you know it's funny i drove with my daughter for the first time yesterday since i taught her to drive because she's really? away for college so she came home, and so she's like, oh, it's Father's Day. I want to take you, you know, to some place to eat or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'll get the car. She's like, no, Dad, let me drive. And Aww. I'm like, okay. And you know what? <laughs> it was surprisingly good. She drives a little fast for me, but, you know, oh, she did a good job. That's, that's me. Good. <laughs> that's when I knew my daughter was a good driver, when I could actually be on my phone and I didn't have to pay attention right. to her mm -hmm. driving. Oh, I'm still not there with my kids. <laughs> Oh, we have trust issues. <laughs> we do. We like they're like oh, they're, that's a whole other. That's a whole <laughs> that's other podcast. <laughs> Just on kids driving. driving. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, number three. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wiping. Oh, so okay, wiping down kitchen counter. And what he meant was, if he cleans the bathroom, he cleans mm -hmm. the kitchen, and she'll be like, "Oh, did you clean?" And he'll be like, "Yeah." Oh, okay. Spray, spray, white. Like she still comes behind him 
And I went through that a lot. Where uh, your cleaning is different than my cleaning. Yeah, it it's is. not good. It's not the same. It is. You guys don't know you how to clean. Me clean. Yes, I do. No, because you guys barely know how to wipe your butts. I don't think you. Oh know my how to god! <laughs> what kind of people do you date? <laughs> Yeah. I'm at a loss of words right now. Fuck? I'm feeling a little offended. <laughs> yeah. oh my, okay. No, yeah. what I meant by she that. Don't mind me and my skids, okay? Don't mind me and my skids. <laughs> Sometimes I forget we're totally being recorded. Jeez. <laughs> Men don't like. A woman's house is her house, and you guys can barely like multitask. Oh my God. Let alone go. clean our house. Like, it has to be cleaned. Again. Like, when you clean the kitchen, do you clean the pots and the pans? That were made that were made with dinner and all the dishes in the sink. Yeah, yeah. And wipe down yeah, all the counters yes. and throw with out the, the Clorox I've wipe. I've never met one man that's done that. Oh. Why? Tony, we gotta invite her to dinner. I don't know. Yeah. I've never met one man that's done it. Wow. What like they leave the pans? Yeah. Girl, no, that's I'm annoying. scrubbing oh. that thing because I'm my OCD is like that's like the first yeah, thing. I see a little bit there. I'm like, like I just don't think that men can clean like us. Mm. So uh, I know if, if Pablo came around, Pablo, you could have your garage. Your garage is yours. Stay away from my house. It's like you're not touching my house. So you have to live in the garage. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and only come inside when I tell you to. And the bathroom, I'm totally OCD. More so now with grandma because I don't want her to get sick or anything. Because right. so many people come in and out of my house. I literally have a box, a thing of Clorox there. Right. A bleach there. like, And I don't want her to get sick. And I don't want it to be just... On our Sundays, everybody's there. Who knows who has what shirt? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're all we're all outside. We're and she's never outside, so I totally have to mm -hmm. clean it and wipe it. And I wouldn't trust my husband. To, oh yeah, it's clean. Mm. I cleaned it. Don't worry. I Which is like why Pablo will always be quantum Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> or he'll he be might happy. or might not quantum exist. Pablo. He might be like, babe, clean the house. I don't care. Do what you got to do. I'm in the garage. He might be okay with that. I don't know. You might get someone that's like. All those things that you say that they're not. I'd give you a run and for your you're money, gonna be though. Shocked and like yeah. beside yourself. Yeah. Like I don't know what to do. You yeah. won't know what to do. You're you gonna, won't. You won't know what to do. I'm gonna call you and Andrew. You're gonna be and manifesting like, this. So person. I'm gonna break up with him because he just cleaned my bathroom. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's a whole he different type the, of different he podcast. The, he too. made me dinner. He cleaned the pots. He cleaned the dishes. He wiped the counter. He threw yeah. the trash out. I can't fix it. I can't it. be with him. I can't fix it. <laughs> Go, yep. Yeah, I can't fix him. He's perfect. Solomon, you're so right. <laughs> He's perfect. He's an angel. I gotta break up with him. He I wants, yeah. He wants to marry me. I guess that's it. <laughs> He's gonna fix my roof. <laughs> and take I'm my gonna, trash out. I'm gonna break up with him after he fixes the roof. <laughs> and the squeaky door. <laughs> okay, next thing. <laughs> Women are always late. Oh no. Mm. Mm -mm. My husband's going to be late to my funeral. <laughs> Sadly, that's like one of his like, that's one of his downfalls. He and I, this is bad. I should stop saying this on here because I say. This is, <laughs> yeah, I'm still no, going to say it. Because I always say it's the longshoreman mentality. Like, I feel like mm. he moves like he's not in a hurry because who has to be back to work at, on time? Nobody. Yeah, <laughs> I do. has to be there yeah, on do. time. <laughs> no, I'm very punctual. I'm I have to be 15 around. minutes early I before work. Like, we're, we're late. We're I, always running behind. Are you? Mm -hmm. Well, to the important stuff? We're late. Oh. oh no. I'm just late. <laughs> I'm, I'm never late to baseball or softball. Like when the kids played sports, we mm. were never late. And I'm never late to work. But mm. I am late to absolutely yeah. everything else. Which yeah. drives Brian absolutely nuts. Yeah. Oh, it drove he me is nuts so too. punctual. And yeah. I'm just not. No, it, it drove me nuts. This but is it, I... is it the, re like for you, for me, I know because I'm just a procrastinator. So I'll say, if I have to be ready at five, oh, I'll start getting ready at 3.30. <laughs> but then I start doing something. My start 80, talking on the phone. Oh, by four <laughs> o'clock, 4.15, I'm like, oh, shit. So now I'm late. Yeah. It, yeah. What, why are so late? my my reasoning is, is just, I, I'm, I'm an Aries, so I'm a fire sign, and it, we're, we just have a lot of energy, and I just think of a million things that I need to do before I go do whatever I'm doing. So, so I'll, like be wa I'll be walking, and, and Brian's thinking we're getting ready to get in the car, and then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm starting laundry. <gasps> So it's not even you getting ready. But I was going to ask no. you just how long, having no. to leave. 
How long does it take you to get ready? Well, when I put my hair up, not long at all. Okay. 20 minutes. So it's not that. It's just you're yeah. always doing something. Yeah. I'm always uh, like putting laundry in or I'm like, that oh, would drive I, I got to close the, I, like, we close the go. doors because the dogs are going to be home by themselves. <laughs> so it's just like random stuff. Oh, my God. The shoes are outside. Let me bring those in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that would oh, drive yeah. me nuts. But I kind of get what she's saying because I'm like, let me feed the dogs. Let me do yeah. that. Let me do that. The house is going to burn you down. Let me unplug the air fryer. Let oh, me... <laughs> shit. Did I turn off the hair straightener? Like yeah. that kind of shit. No, I'm already ready. It's always why I'm late. I'm already ready. Yeah. We're either really, really early or we're really, really late. But for the most part, we're late. But And it's him, not you, that you're late. No, and it's not like he... He would literally be sitting down, lay, laying there watching TV. And I'm like, aren't you going to get ready? And he's like, it only takes me like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> but it? And it's an hour. No. <laughs> I think your Maybe. husband's an exception. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> what did he say? I'm saying, but that's like one of the main things that I know, like I could nitpick about is just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. he's late. Yeah. Yeah. But he's yeah. going to be late to my funeral. Most men and not are on because time, he's though. crying at home. Because <laughs> he's like looking at, he's distracted. Yeah. He has the TV on. And I'm like, you need to turn the TV off so you can just keep moving, keep it moving. He's moving. the same way. And that's like, like I don't get oh, ready babe, until look, she's did done you see that? that. Well, babe, look, just come over here really quick. Just watch this. <laughs> that, I'm like, that's it. Wow. Record <laughs> it. I'll watch it later. I'm not joking. That is me. <laughs> And Brian says the same thing. He's like, oh, my God, just turn off the fucking TV. Yeah. Stop looking at that. It's a distraction. <laughs> it is. So and is he, our phones. He has so that'll to. make me late, too. No, it's, yeah, not his, going it's, off. Not his, it's not his phone. It's the TV. <laughs> what is Okay, but, like, is he watching sports? No, he's watching CNN. Oh, <laughs> no, Fox News. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> He'll record in. sports, and we could watch that later. later but yeah. yeah. No, that's one of the things. Like, Wait, he records sports? Like, it, like I'm saying, like, if. if okay, because no man records sports. No, because. No, I have to watch it live. Online. Yeah. No, yeah. if you. I know people that record it who can't watch yeah. it. Yeah, like if we And they'll to, say, don't tell me anything. Yeah. I don't want to know anything. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's, yeah, that's very know. rare. That's very rare. Um, okay. But you just said he's he was an exception. Well, I, yeah, I think he's <laughs> until then. <an> <laughs> yeah, most most men are on time with things like that. But like, what I found is like my wife, like when we're getting ready to do something, she has this routine, right? And you know how long she's going to take to get in the shower, and then blow dry her hair, then sit and do her makeup, and then she goes to the kitchen table and puts her purse down, and that's when the time you know she's going to dig through her purse for like. 15 minutes. And that's what makes us late every time. The black yeah, hole. He digging yeah. in her purse. He knows. Yeah. To a T. Yeah. What is she digging in her purse for? I don't know. She's putting everything in, trying to figure out, oh, everything do I need this? In a woman's that. purse, there's everything. Or she'll, everything yeah. or she'll be changing change. purses, too. Like, you know. So oh, it's the just, whole changing But you know purse, when that's... she puts it on the table, you got at least another 15 minutes. <laughs> That's why, like myself, I don't get ready until she's ready and ready to walk out the door because then it's only going to take me like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so then next thing you know, I'm being blamed for being like, no, I'm waiting for you to freaking oh, finish getting my ready. Gosh, that is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. This one's this is fun. It takes us forever to tell a story where the guy's <laughs> like, come on, let's go, speed it up, leave out the parts we don't care about. Yeah, that's how I was with my ex wife. Like, yeah. whenever she would tell me a story, I'm like, okay, all right, okay, okay, what, what? Get, well, what's, get what's the, the whole, point. whole purpose of the story? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'll get mad and just stop then. I'm not gonna tell you the story then. Just forget. Yeah, you don't then that's care. where I walk away. And say I don't care. Oh, and that nice. would probably pop you in the nice. back of the head as you walked away. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not gonna tell me the story. Okay, let me go back to watching my sports. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say I want to hear the story, babe. Tell me. Just lie to me <laughs> and say you want to hear the whole yeah. story. And I know that's me because I asked one of my friends. I was like, okay, give me two things because when I'm doing the research for all this, he's like. You go 100 miles an hour to tell a story, and the whole time my head's exploding, like, just get to... <gasps> I was like, I don't want to tell you stories no more. Yeah. Like, that's how you feel? And he's like, no, it's just sometimes you take forever. <laughs> <laughs> but then when we're telling you a story, yeah. you're, you have to know, stop, you, you stop us right in the middle know, of the story. Because I want to know every detail. So I tell yeah. you every detail as I'm telling the story. She wants you to tell it like she does. Because yeah. I want to know. Like, if you said, oh, I met Barbara, I was like, where? What was she wearing? Who was she yeah. wearing? And you're like, it doesn't matter. It all matters. It all matters. <laughs> was it raining or was yeah. the yeah. sun out? <laughs> the wind was going. <laughs> Which direction? 
<laughs> well, the next one says that it's all about being a chismosa, which is like, you know, a little talkative. Mm-hmm. And that I don't care what any woman says. I don't even I'll even argue with my sister because I can text my sister and be like, guess what? What? She'll call me and be like, ooh, uh-uh, what? So mm-hmm. I think all women are chismosas. Yes. Oh, without a doubt. And I was going to name the podcast mm-hmm. Cafecito and Chisme, but I wanted to get a whole spectrum. So that's why I put it in English, Coffee and Chaos, mm-hmm. because I felt like I know that, like, even when I'm at work, it's hard. <laughs> somebody will be like, did you hear? No. You can't tell anybody. Okay, tell me. And then somebody mm-hmm. will be like, did you hear? I didn't hear. I'm going to tell you. Okay, tell me. But in my head, I'm like, that's not how I heard the story. <laughs> yeah, that was like, You're somebody's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think women are bigger chismosas more than men? No. Absolutely. Absolutely not. I think men are more, they just try to hide it and act like they're not. But mm-hmm. I work with the majority of men and those men gossip mm-hmm. and talk so much. And I have brothers. Don't think me and my, my two brothers They talk don't more gossip. about women though. Uh, yeah. yeah, they talk way more about women than Mm-mm. other men. If and I were to no, tell Tony, are haters. they gossiping or as I tell my daughter, we're not gossiping. We're speaking facts. Mm-hmm. If oh, I were no, to tell Tony gossip. right now, Tony, what uh, I'm going to tell you something tomorrow. You know what he'd say? He'd go, OK, if I were to yeah, tell Alina, Alina, I got this secret, but I'll let you know tomorrow. What would you say? I wait until tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, All right, cool. Let me know. Text me. But I'm also the type of person that. When we hear an ambulance and it stops, I look through my shutters. Yep. <laughs> I will go outside. Yep. Like, with your vacuum. It's not even yes. in the street. <laughs> She's with her mop. <laughs> I love those videos. Seth gets mad when I'm outside and I'm like, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, someone's getting arrested. I was like, why are you going out there? Because I need to know it's my block. I want to make sure we're safe. <laughs> if there's cops there, I'm pretty sure we're safe, mom. Oh, no, we don't know what's going on. We need to know. He's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> no, but I get people too that that call me, text me all the time. Hey, did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, but tell me. Yeah, go ahead. You can tell me. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything. But I, I, everybody always flocks to me, and I'm like, why? And I'm like, they just they have to tell me, and I'm like, because they know you want to hear it. <laughs> I guess I don't know, but like, even at work, people. I have like, friends did you hear about like this, that. like this at work, and da, 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 da. no. What well, can you find out? I'll try. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not here. I have to know. Like if you, and the thing is half the stuff I don't remember, it doesn't get repeated. But if you start a story or you say, did you hear? It doesn't end there. Right. I need to know. Or even like how I brought up earlier. I blame my podcast, aunt, my, my dad's sisters. With my ex, <laughs> when she would be on the phone with her friend mm-hmm. or friends, they're gossiping. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, hey, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, like, sometimes I do. I, I did. You I'm know like, you want to know, and too. I'm like, she's like, wait, hold up. No, put on speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. If you tell, if my husband hears something or you tell him something that's going on, he he follows up. Right. No, like, what? He's like, hey, whatever happened to such and such? Do you think that's being a good husband and being a part of your life? Yes. Oh. I think so. Um, yeah, Damn, super, Solomon, you didn't even let me finish. Yeah, because nope. he's super passionate. <laughs> that's because about, you're taking too long like, to ask the question. <laughs> He's super passionate about like the things that I do discuss yeah. and like what yeah. what's taking place. So he's following up because he wants to know like what's going on. Like, who do we gotta do some? Do we need a who, call? Who, who, gotta, who do we gotta go beat up? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think, that's why I, think I would that's ask. Awesome though, because I had an ex that was like that, and I always wondered, is he that type of person, or was it just because he was being supportive? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. oh, absolutely. I'm like, hey, what what, what happened? Like. <laughs> Can you get some off your chest? Like, tell me. Like, well, she's like, like well, my, you know, said. my uncle, well, his cousin, well, his baby mama, sister, brother, well, guess what they did? And you're like, I'm like what? what? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. I but then there are times down. where like they're yeah. talking and they would be talking and then she would, it didn't seem like really interesting to me. So I'm like, who cares? Yeah. Like, I, I don't, I don't care. Like, really? Yeah. I'm like, uh. that's like, Loran is like that. Loran is like, I don't care. But I'm like, but because of Jackie. Loran's forced to listen now. <laughs> so Jackie's like, you don't, but I do. So tell me. Jackie's like, we're one in the same. And so I tell Loran, like, you're screwed. You married your mom. You're done. <laughs> yeah. So Jackie and I will sit and set both my kids, probably because I'm so much like that. My kids uh-huh. are like, eh. But I'll call Seth and be like, Pop, I, I don't care. I know, but I need, but I don't care. That's how I was. He will literally, and I'll be like, okay, but you're going to hear it. 
I'm bored. Just tell me anyways, mom. Enlighten my day. Like, <laughs> That's right. You put her on speakerphone and you just walk away and let her <laughs> yeah. keep talking. <laughs> yeah. Like if I'm at work at night and I'll be like, oh, guess what? He'll be like, I know he's playing his game. What, mom? Da, da, da. He's like, oh, cool. And I'm like, but you know, he's like, I don't care. <laughs> like poor kids. But I think it's because I'm too much like that. I'm always in the business and they're like, no. Or the business hence, just comes to you. Hence why I started the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, since you don't want to hear me, I'm going to go on a podcast. You're going to be forced to hear <laughs> and me, tell all right? the world. <laughs> For an hour. <laughs> There's two guys at work, Will and Leo, and they refuse to listen to the podcast. Really? <laughs> and I'm calling them out because they said, we hear it all day. We already know. And if you don't tell it on the podcast, we know more than the podcast. Though. Yeah. <laughs> so they already know. I'm like, oh, okay. So where was, the, there was another one. Oh, we did the backseat driver. We did that. Oh, where you're always blaming the man for something. <laughs> Me. Was that? I should have called in you? sick, Solomon. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> no, as, so, as opposed to whom? The person So I'm going to give you an example. Uh, so the guy, the guys at work were saying how he would, he got a phone call just a few weeks ago and his wife was like, did you break whatever it was, like the remote or the kitchen sink or something? And he's like, uh, no. She's like, well, who was it? And he was like, you do realize you have two kids at home. She's like, well, they wouldn't do it. Like, <laughs> so he says, if something's lost, if something's broken, he's always to blame. To blame. And I'm like, wait, are you serious? That happened he's to like, me quite a few times. He's like, yeah, you guys just, oh, it's, it's it's my husband's fault. It's my husband's fault. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. And I'm like. <laughs> but yeah, when we come to you and say, oh, where's my jacket? When I purposely like leave it in a certain spot. Where's it at? Like, <laughs> well, she I cleaned. moved it. Yeah, she cleaned. <laughs> if, well, if, if my husband's looking for something, it's because he didn't give it to me to put away. <laughs> so if you, he, I if think he, I'm your husband. If he comes to me and says, babe, where's such and such? Like, if I didn't put a note in my phone or I know where I put it, if I don't know where it's at, it's because you didn't give it to me. Trina be and coming on the admit, podcast like, talking smack. <laughs> Is your husband going to Yeah, I want to see what he is. I want to see what he is. watches it religiously. Yeah. Oh, my. And sometimes yes, hilarious. <laughs> he might No, I, I love that man, but I'm just saying that he, he will tell you. He almost made me spit up my coffee. Because <laughs> I said I love him. <laughs> but. He's <laughs> like, but. No, I, I'm the saying butt part. he would be the first to tell you like, that, yes, if he can't find it, it's because he didn't give it to me. Okay, so I have a question to me and ask that. me where it's at. If, okay, because the guys brought up this. If we go around and we pick up all the stuff and we clean, and we, how do we always lose our keys and our phones <laughs> and ask our husbands or boyfriends or yeah, sons or daughters, it. can you call my phone? I don't know where I put it. Can you? I lost my phone. Well, I do that automatically when it, when it comes to a phone. If, if <laughs> you? Yeah, if my ex, well, my ex would lose her phone or whatever, I'd be like, all right, let me call it. Oh, yeah, you okay. got to call. It's the only way to find But it. the next thing you know, it's on vibrate. So it's oh. like, because Brayden, Brian, my son would put it on vibrate. Oh. So he wouldn't get interrupted by he's watching YouTube on her phone. Oh, my. <laughs> he was so younger. then he lost it, yeah. not her. Yeah. Then I get blamed for it. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. did it say? Uh, Brian said that he was going to buy me a fishing, like a fisherman's vest. And he was just going to start sticking stuff on me as I'm walking <gasps> out the door. Oh, my gosh. Like, you don't lose it. <laughs> How many times do you run back in the house once you get in your car to leave? Too many to count. I do it at least once. And the caregivers, I didn't really. But I don't do it anymore because Brian is just like. Oh, I need, I need a Brian in my that life. That is if you. Those <laughs> just are, like one thing after another. Yeah. He's like, I, I that's already That's where it leads to <laughs> men eating women and women eating men. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize I did it till the caregivers. Are like, do you know how often you and your son come back in the house once you left because you forgot something? And I was like, oh, I didn't realize it. It's like every single time. When you say goodbye and leave, I know you're coming right back. <laughs> That's, that what happened to me today. I was leaving. Yeah. I was like, oh, I forgot my phone. Run back inside. Oh, damn it. I forgot my watch. Came oh, back yeah. Yeah. Like, damn, my husband will stand at the door to say bye to me. She goes, you have your watch, you have your phone, you have your coffee, Who does you have that? Your water. My husband. Yeah. Does that to you? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's funny. I would thought you were going to say you do that for your husband. Yeah, I would think that. No, no. But he's he's actually drove all the way to work and forgot his phone, so. <laughs> does he just stay at work without his phone? Yeah. That's Because crazy. he's in the crane, so he's like, yeah. I'm not going back down there. I'm not going to yeah, do yeah, all yeah, the yeah. So he's like. So does he not listen to music or anything? In oh, the yeah. Oh, I need oh, my Yeah, but so what he didn't realize, because he was able to call me from his his watch, uh -huh. what he didn't realize was your his he could play the music from his watch to his speaker. <gasps> so, so he still got to play his music. He, but when he called me, he left a voicemail like somebody died. 
<laughs> like, I can't listen to my yeah, music, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I text and said, like, you can do it from your watch. So he was able to. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Day. He just needed. To, he just needs to be patient. Like, he's very, he, like, doesn't read. If it it's says flustered. one through five, he goes from one and skips to five. Because oh, he, that's me. he's confident in, like, oh, oh I'll figure me. it out. But then he's going back, like, babe, can you help me? Then you have an extra screw somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I extra screws. So. <laughs> when I'm trying to put something together, like, and like Loran and Seth will Pablo, say, where are you? <laughs> no, this is what happens. He's quantum. <laughs> Loran will say, mom, I'll come tomorrow and do it. Like if, if like Seth's asleep or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not waiting. So then I just start doing it. And then I get mad because I did something. And it says, I'm like, well, you could have helped. And he's like, dude, I, I just came out of the room. I didn't even know what you were doing. <laughs> like, well, now I got two screws left. He's like, why didn't you tell? Well, sissy said she would do it tomorrow, but I didn't want to wait till tomorrow. And he's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so now he has to go. He's like, you like what you said. He's like, did you do two and three? And I was like, oh no, I didn't even see two or three. <laughs> I was, like, I was just five. looking at the picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're good together though. When we're Are doing you? the instructions, when yeah. we're like, we as can put team. some, yeah, as a team. But if he tries to do it separate from me, then I'm going back over there and we have to start all over again because he didn't wait. Like, and he gets flustered and he's like, very. I just build everything by myself because Brian's like, you're too controlling. Uh, He's like, you won't leave me alone and tell me, like, stop telling I, me what to do. I get it. I you don't need to micromanage. Oh, my that. husband, he's a great micromanager. He's a great micromanager. He's a great micromanager. Wow. See, I am her husband. November 1st. <laughs> Solomon, uh, I think you're right. She chose violence you. on this Ooh, one. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. <laughs> you. You better walk in the house quietly tonight. <laughs> You've been like, honey, let's go to bed. I, I got uh, some making up to do. <laughs> nah. He's going to be like, just no, don't no. watch this one. <laughs> yeah. You won't like it. <laughs> it's a girls only one. You he know knows that I t- I'm just, you I talk got to put that in the title for him not to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't watch. No, Mike. I don't really watch. should do that in the title. Beware, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Mike, don't watch this one. Oh, I don't know. Tom's gonna say I was bashing my husband. <laughs> I love you. Well, I love I, you, honey. We block Tom and Mike from yeah, watching it. Tom, <laughs> Tom's gonna call me and be like, "Yeah, I didn't like that one. Nope, didn't like that one." And he's so serious too. Like I love him so much. He's so I funny. Do. Okay, so this one I do, and I don't know, I don't think you do. We talked about this, and I don't remember if you do. I don't know what, and it's not just me, because even as I scroll on TikTok, there's now a t-shirt that they're selling on it. Um, Women in your comfy pajamas watching murder shows, like (laughs) 2020s, Dateline, Snapped. Snap used to be my favorite, Mm -hmm. like, and it's Mm -hmm. about, well, Snapped is about women snapping and killing their husbands or their lovers. Yeah. Okay. But the 2020s, the datelines are just all about he got killed, she got killed, how they got killed, yeah. why they got killed. Like, I am infatuated with like. And so you be- can go to sleep to that. I, no. I have to go to sleep We talked that. about that. I love watching those, but I will not watch them before I go to bed. No. So there I the have dreams. to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was but that's that. what it is. I have to fall asleep with it. I end up waking up. Like Seth has literally come and I had to like, Shake me, mom, and I'm like, ah! he's like, <laughs> like how do it again? <laughs> so we got to make sure we play that one. Yeah. Slow mo, slow mo. Yeah. <laughs> zoom in on her face for that one. So is it more the pajamas or the murder mystery? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you said pajamas. Are you in your muumu like, uh, watching the free? Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm just and, seeing no, her in a muumu. Like, yeah. And I thought like I was the only one, but I have so many girlfriends that I know that they also watch it. But it gets mm-hmm. to a point where it's so bad. And so I was telling the guys at work that I have to like then go watch like a Disney movie or a Hallmark channel. <laughs> and he goes, oh, my God, my wife records Hallmark in July. I said, well, because it's Christmas in July and Hallmark channel. He's like, you too. And I was <laughs> like, well, I'm either like they're getting married in love or he's chopping her up. Like there's no. <laughs> Thank God, God Brian Lifetime. and I like the same show. Oh, that's where it started. Lifetime. Yeah. And then it went to Snap and then Dateline in 2020. And 48 now, hours. 48 hours. Well, first and 48. I will say that. Yeah, I do I, like I, that I, one. I like that one. I There's a... Yeah. Because uh, it's real. Yeah. A podcast called... You would like it. It's called uh, Murder Makeup Monday. She puts on her makeup every Monday and tells you about some killings and, like, murders. And, <laughs> so I'm learning how to put on know, makeup. I Lena. Oh. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> I also watch one called Mile Higher Podcast. It's on uh, YouTube also. And it's all about... 
<laughs> that's a free plug for them, by the way. No, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, so I want, that's like, I got, I get into them and I'm like, all the guys at work walk in and say, who's getting killed now? I'm like, you don't want to know. With a big old <laughs> smile on her face. <laughs> and she's getting chopped up. <laughs> Believe me, there's lots of women like it. It's not just me. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. Because there's a whole there is a TikTok lot. shirt that they're, that I've thought about buying. And I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't do Word it. Word on the show. <laughs> mm -hmm. How many TikTok shirts do you actually own? Because I think it's a lot. I probably have bought on TikTok probably like five or six. I like the Jesus in Star Wars one. Oh, that one I didn't <laughs> buy on, on, that was actually a gift and I don't mm. remember from who, and I don't know if they watched this. So if it was you and you remember, thank you. Cause <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Cause I don't remember. Um, I like shirts that have sayings on them. Yeah. So on TikTok, their shirts are like on, I, we thought it was Timu and then we realized this Super Bowl, it's not pronounced Timu, it's Tamu or. I always say Timu. Yeah, but on Super Bowl Sunday, they had a whole commercial on how to pronounce it. And we Americans. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying wrong. not to go that route. <laughs> now I want to see this I'm commercial. <laughs> yeah, it's like Tamu or something like that. It's not Timu. Whatever. They just want your money. That's the white Yeah. yeah I'm thank sorry. You. Like, the white buy my shit. Thank you. Say it right. <laughs> <laughs> the white I'm sorry. But I've bought a few shirts on there because they have really cool shirts on there. I just like shirts that have like funny or good sayings or mm -hmm. my favorite one so far is uh broken, broken crayons, still color. <laughs> oh. And I was like, I've worn it, I think on here. And yeah, I we've like, seen it. Oh, that one. I love that one. It was pretty <laughs> cool. All right. Well, um, anything else before, uh, <laughs> so are you a broken crayon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it tries not, to shoot rainbows. Even, what color? <laughs> Pink. It wasn't that you asked that, Trina. Your face was dead serious. Yeah. <laughs> like, so are you? Tell us. I think I'm definitely, look at I'm a beautiful disaster. I'm definitely a broken crayon. Yeah. I think everybody's a yeah. broken crayon. There's, yeah. Yeah. The only perfect crayon is Jesus. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. We're and all. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. And, and me. me. <laughs> like, and me. What uh, color, if I was a broken crayon, what color would I be? Probably my favorite color. Uh, I don't ask. I have like five favorite colors. So I see you as like okay, a what's your like a dark favorite? red, like a maroonish Ooh, red, like red. a brick red. No, it would have to be my pink. favorite color is orange. I love red. Red is my. I'm sorry. <laughs> red. Red is actually my least. Black is my favorite. I was gonna color. say. I, can, I yeah, like black. I yeah, yeah, we could see. Okay, that. wait, 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 wait. But what's your favorite color? Yeah, because you guys went from. What color would I be if I was a broken crayon to what's my favorite color? <laughs> okay, That's two what different color types. Typical show. Crayon Squirrel. Be. Squirrel. <laughs> my bad. It's kind of like a, uh, it's, it's, it's lighter than this. I don't know what it, color it is, but see the coffee cup? See how it looks brown, but there's like a little mauve? bit of purples? There you go. It's what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You said you moth? Be, you can't be making up colors now. <laughs> moth. Moth. I feel like by saying moth, it's like you guys got that color from the from the, yeah. the nail Google salon. It. M Number 39. M-K-U-B. <laughs> I probably did. The, the fact that like, you oh. know that is hilarious. I grew up with the women. Come on. <laughs> and then it would be brown and then it would be blue. So I'm uh, telling you, I have a- Brown? Movie. Yes, I love brown and blue. Well, ah, uh, hello. Kind of dark there. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your skin color. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so man. now real quick, Solomon, what's your favorite color? Oh, uh, yeah, you put me on the spot. I don't think I have one. Oh, what? what? Look uh, okay. at Trina's face. Uh, okay, my, my, my color is, pro is probably some kind of blue, but it's like a subdued blue. Um, subdued? Yeah. Subdued. Oh, subdued. Subdued blue, yeah. I, oh. I can't. I don't have a name for it. I'll ask Tony. You gotta go, you gotta go Next to time you go to the nail salon. <laughs> yeah, look, look up my color for me. Tony, what's your favorite color? Mine would have to be uh, either blue or black. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, and yours are red and black. Mm -hmm. Red, black, and yellow. Black. Whatever Ooh. color goes German. to my skin. No, I'm kidding. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love bright colors, though. I feel like bright colors, like, kind of, kind mm -hmm. of like that peacefulness color. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I liked the dark colors. I was a rebel. Now I'm like. As I'm wearing I'm a never black gonna shirt get out today. of dark colors. <laughs> but do you see my shirt? See you? I like what it says. Don't make me go death button. Death, death button. Wow. Here death we go. button. Oh. <laughs> Dateline over here. Dateline. What does that say? Death button. Death button. 
bed done. I'm so done. Yellowstone. Yellowstone. I don't know if it's the coffee or the death talk, but don't make me go Beth Dutton on you from Yellowstone. She's my oh, favorite. Wow. She is. At first, she was a little harsh for me. And then as time went I love on, her. I was like, oh. I couldn't get into it. You love her so. man more. <laughs> what? Yeah. I couldn't get into it. I, I Okay, do you... How We're do at the you, end of the show, so how we can you, talk about whatever. How do you not like Rip? How do you not like the show? I just, I like, couldn't. What's wrong with you? I just couldn't get into it. You used I, to start over. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Wait, were maybe. you watching it with someone? No. Oh. I watched oh. it by myself. I watched I read a thing about why <laughs> women like Rip. It's not what he looks like, but it's what he stands for. Oh, I think I like the way he oh. looks. Though. I love the way he looks. Yeah. He's hot. Don't get that wrong. But, but it's crazy. Before this. Um, uh, thing before this show, and he was in other things that I watched him in. I was like, eh, he's all right. But in this one, I'm like, come to mama. Yeah, he's hot. I think it's because he's such like a badass, and he went through shit. But he's really, really, really romantic. That's what I think. It's not what he looks like. It's what he stands for. Who yeah, he is and how he treats her. Extremely like, romantic. My favorite part is when he tells her, "I don't have time for your shit right now. Put crazy back in its box. Yeah. Do you want me to go with you or not?" And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> I think I like that. Yeah, I think if something- I don't, you love that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw me against the wall." <laughs> God, Alina. Yep. And, and for all of the other 95% of our audience who don't watch Yellowstone. Oh, <laughs> by my neck. <laughs> Not Alina turning red. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did it. I just don't I just don't have guys or men, whether it's at work or home, to tell me what to do. Like even at work, my managers think they tell me what to do, and they're so cute. But they don't like. It's so cute. Thanks. Yeah, bless bless your heart. I'm not doing it. What'd you say, Solomon? Bless your heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they're hilarious. Like, so if I actually had someone say, "Sit your ass down," I'd be like, "Oh, okay." Like mm-hmm. forever or just for like five minutes? How long do you want me to sit for? Like, just tell me. Yeah. What yeah. Like. yeah. So I'm sure someone's watching and taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> So like, when they tell, tell you, yeah. I need to change my name to Sit down and shut up. <laughs> so are you going to sit down or are you going to start asking questions? <laughs> I mean, I'll sit and then still ask the question. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so Wait, real much. quick. What? Uh, yes. Without going into too much detail, what's going on with next week's episode? So next week's episode, uh, their dog passed away. Right. So they're like, so we might postpone it a week or so like oh, yeah from tiktok from tiktok yeah they're oh. like we've been um inboxing and communicating right. and stuff like that he they're really upset which i get because when we had to put a uh, sky away i'm gonna try not to cry seriously yeah. um and when we had, to, we had to put him away oh my god when we had to put him to sleep that was like put her to sleep that was heartbreaking yeah, well, yeah it's like, like a part, that's that's your family member well and sky was only a year old she was having seizures she was seth's dog and i had to do mm-hmm. it when he was away and i had to call and tell him and when we put her to, to sleep, um, why do I keep saying put her away? <laughs> put her to sleep. I don't put her in a know. box, throw her in the closet. No, that's <laughs> horrible. It's it super is. weird. It must out have now. something to do with the <laughs> snapped. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so now I know how you get when you yeah. talk about your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> when I had to put Sky to sleep, when I was laying her down, and you know they're gonna do all this stuff, I was rubbing her head, and I could feel all once she was like calm, all the bumps because. I didn't realize she also had seizures when I was at work. Mm. So she wasn't just having them around me because I'd be around her literally trying to chase her with like a pillow because she's shaking and hitting her head against stuff. Even when she was outside, if I saw it or heard it, I ran out there. But when I wasn't home, she was having them. So she had all these little bumps in her head and that broke my heart even more. So when I finally made the decision to put her sleep, it just tore me Why was she having seizures? Do you know? We don't know. So oh. we got her from a rescue down in San Diego. Um, she was like half pit, half God knows what, you know. Um, but she only weighed like, she didn't even get past 50 pounds, I think. she was, But she was beautiful and she was great. She just, so I jokingly would always say that she was autistic. Because mm. she was always a little like, well, now to find out. When she was doing crazy things, it's probably because she had just had a seizure. And so when you come out of a seizure, you're not normal for like a day or two. You're almost drunk. Yeah. So if she had a seizure when I was at work and by the time I got home, she's kind of like out of it. I'd be like, I don't know. She's autistic. She's a little slow. There's something yeah. wrong with her. Like, you know, no, if she was having seizures. Yeah. Right. So we, and I tried everything. I tried uh, CBD. I tried um, real THC. Yeah. The stuff the vet gave us. The, nothing works, though. I finally just said I'm putting her to bed. Putting her to sleep. <laughs> putting her yeah. to bed. Are you tucking her in? <laughs> oh, God. 
done. We're done. I'm so done on this one. I don't. I well, think it's the coffee. I'm also working on somebody. To I saw on, you saw that. Uh, working on somebody. Somebody yeah. to come on the podcast. <laughs> and uh, this person's um, story is very. Um, it's intriguing. Yeah, very intriguing. And I'm looking forward to them I'm, responding. I mean, they're very spotty because they yeah. have a lot going on in their life. But um, yeah, it's a really, really good person. I think it would be really good to. I love to person. watch people live their lives and find love no matter where it is because I'm at home with my popcorn going, oh, they're in love. Oh, they're together. Oh. Like, th- I and live Especially when you have a lot else. of negativity that are, that are coming at them with those, with that. And then they bounce back and say, look, I'm not trying to, you're going to try and call me out on this or I'm going to respond. That's back. the one thing about social media. I don't really know if I would like, I don't feed into stuff because at the end of the day, everybody's going to have their opinion, right, right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm sure people watch this and think I'm whatever, you know what I mean? But you don't pay my mortgage. Right. I'm a grown ass. And that's how that, that's how that do, individual like, is. So yeah. Like, okay. You guys are starting another podcast right now. Yeah. <laughs> So, but yeah, but go on. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. And like I said, this person will be, I think it will be a really good, uh, really good podcast to do. Good. Well, we'll keep everybody updated, Mm -hmm. but thank you guys so much. And until next time. Bye. Bye.